New parents coo over their babies' every wiggle and movement. These scientists say watching the pattern of how babies move could be a potential marker for neurodiverse conditions like autism. The Baby Grow Project is very novel in its approach to looking at motor action from birth, but also looking at it unfolding over time. So rather than taking snapshots at six months or 12 months, we're looking at it every week to see how it's unfolding, how it's changing in our infants who are at high risk and low risk of autism. At the UK's University of Sussex, researchers believe the movement of babies could be more than a reflexive way to strengthen their muscles. Those jerks and fits could be key in early detection for children on the autism spectrum. And so what we're doing here is using techniques from computer vision, which is uh, uh, an application of machine learning to images and video data in order to ascertain the position of the limbs over time and look at the patterns of how they're moving around. They are measuring not only the limb movements, but also the direction little arms and legs move in, as well as how fast and how far the limbs move. We're using computer vision and AI technology to see patterns that our eyes can't see. And these would be targeting things like the variability and the complexity of the infant's movements. Where we think that children might be at risk we're hoping to be able to indicate that to parents and GPs much earlier on so that they can receive support and treatment um, within their infant years rather than waiting to the toddler years and beyond. Early detection and intervention is paramount in helping children with autism. This kind of research is the way forward for us to determine children who might be at risk of autism earlier than we currently do. And I think it's our best hope of also starting to think about the development of motor interventions um, earlier so that we're not waiting until these children actually develop social and communication deficits before we start treating them. Infancy is a stage where children rapidly develop. By studying this crucial time, scientists may be able to determine how the rest of their lives could look. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.